Um, I put hashtag ad in the in the in the title and the, the name of the game in the title. And um, I'm ready to uh, to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll live. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Welcome everybody to uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator. We're going to be playing Lawn Mowing Simulator as part of a sponsored um, segment for the next two hours on this stream. We've talked about playing this game a lot and now it's happening. We're going to mow some lawns. We liked power washing. I'd say mainly we like all simulators that we've played. Not all simulators are created equally, obviously, but this looks like a good one. Um, thanks very much. They, so, so Curve um, provided a key for the game for me to play and are also paying me for the next two hours to play it as well. So it is a hashtag ad sponsored, but I think we probably would have played this one anyway, realistically, right? The train one was shit. Okay, I'll give you that. The train one wasn't the best. Yeah, $10 million? Not quite, but not far off either. Um, okay, um, let's just do career, I guess, right? We'll start from me. I wonder if you, like, work your way up. I wonder if you get one of those, like, manual pushing ones, and then you work your way up to one of the big boys that you have, like, the beer hat on, and you sit on, you can listen to your iPod and stuff like that, you know? Yeah? Hashtag ad? There's no Zambos in this one, no. I'm gonna create a new career. Do we want to skip the tutorials? We recommend that new players follow the tutorials. I'm skipping. <laughs> I'm skipping. Oh. Company name? Uh, Sipsco Lawn, Lawn Care. Okay. Cisco Lawn Care, we got 3,000 bucks. Um, we can have a company logo. Enter my company name, okay. My company logo. What logo do you think is the best for Cisco Lawn Care? That one, right? It's gotta be that one. Edit player. Player name. Old Hogan. Player avatar. Damn. Holy crap. Look at these options. Okay. Player avatar. Change hat. Yes. Confirm. Logo placement. F front and back. No logo. Uniform colors, primary color. Yeah, here we go. Secondary color, it's gotta be yellow, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Confirm. 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 Are you happy with your company's setup? Yes. Okay, I'm in my garage right now. We can purchase the Knight OFS1 for 2650 bucks, Or we could use the Stiga Estate 2084H. I think this is just like our our default one. Oh no, this one's 2149 bucks. The deck size on this one is 98 centimeters and it's a mulcher. Uh, the Stiga is 84 centimeters and it's a collector. I like the look of this one. I think this one looks fancy. Nice deck, thanks. It's got a really big deck, which I I think is I think is promising for sure. It's got real we rear wheel drive. So does this one. This one has uh, less fuel ca fuel capacity and uh, less of a top speed as well. It's a slower, but it's a mulcher, not just a collector. The copper capacity here is 240 liters. So the mulcher, I guess, means that you have to um, rake up after, right? It doesn't have a hopper that it collects it in. Hmm. This one also has uh, articulated steering. Perfect for tight spaces. 
the rear glass grass collector. Look at some of these ones. Like, look at this freaking one. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Groundmaster 3300. All right. Okay, let's go for this one. Yeah. Done it. Okay. The dream begins. Uh, front garden of Old Nook Cottage. This is a contract that we have that we can take. Um, employee, Old Hogan. Vehicle, this. Okay, let's. It's we need a 99% cut. Uh, recommended deck width is 100 centimeters. Okay, beggars can't be choosers. Current grass range is 13 to 20 centimeters. Cutting height five to six centimeters. It's all pretty standard. Contract height, just a general cut. Ground check time limit, four minutes. Recommended cut time is 26 minutes. It's a one-star complexity job. It's worth 330 bucks and uh, 50 RPs. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in here and do it. You're currently drawing my portrait? Nice, thanks. Use the steering wheel. Man, I'm not using the steering wheel for this. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful English garden. Look. Man, I can't wait to get out there and, and, and smell that freshly cut grass. I can't wait. Oh, I love these, these scenic panning views imagine like this game and power wash simulator combined so that you could like not only power wash but then like mow the lawn after as well yeah the grass is out of control you're right holy shit the uh sensitivity is like insane okay get on vehicle Attention, skip ground check. Are you sure you want to exit ground check? Remaining objects will be automatically removed, but you won't earn any money or RP for finding them back. Okay, no. We're going to have to do a ground check. Oh, I see. Yeah, got to move the gnome. All right, anything else here that's going to potentially get in the way of our blades? We don't want to accidentally run over some crap out here. Not only will we mess up our our instrumentation, but also there's a good chance that the client will not award us with all of the stuff that we need to uh, to succeed. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight spot in there for sure. All right, let me just have a quick look around here just to make sure that there's nothing left. I it says two out of three, so there is something else here, but. I don't know what it is. I'm getting on. It looks all clear to me. Sorry, my controller uh, vibrate is on. Okay, use I and T to change the vehicle's throttle. E and C to change the cut height. Oh my god. Oh. And then we want to lower the... Oh, here we here we go. Okay, and then it's Q to lower it. Right. Are you... This is awesome. You guys ready? My, my controller is like vibrating out of control here. All right. We're going to have to get in here with the whippersnapper after, I think. Nice. Just got to get like a top top down view here. Perfect. So if you like to listen to some tunes while you cut the the grass, I recommend some good old country western, you know? Like maybe get some Credence Clearwater playing or something. Perfect for grass cutting. We're just going to do the edges and work our way inwards, right? We're the professionals here. We can do it however we want. Most people don't know how to properly mow a lawn. And certainly this person who's contracted me to mow the lawn probably doesn't know either. So she's probably like, look at this pro go. He does all the edges and he works his way inside. Like a true professional. Okay, let's just get this bit in here done. Okay, how's it looking? 
Oh yeah, it's looking good. Already looking really nice. Just having a little stretch on here. Good. These are tricky, these little, um, these little bits here. Whoops. Way too short. No, it said like five centimeters. It said that the ideal cut was five centimeters, so that's what I, that's what I lowered the blade down to. Having a little bit of difficulty control controlling the motor, uh, the mower. Sorry, I should say. Here we go. Okay, so now we just do this bit, and then we keep going round and round and round and round, all the way until it's done. We've done all the tricky bits now. We've done all like the little uh, the arches and stuff. So the rest of it should be really straightforward. You are overloading your engine. Oh, I am. Oops, I turned it off, I think. Oops. I didn't realize I was overloading my engine. There's a lot of technical things to take into account when you're mowing a lawn. Turns out. Oh, I think there's a, a cow in this field. Okay, that's fine. Looking good so far? Looking pretty good? That progress bar is rising. Oh, hang on a second. I just realized. Um, I might need to move myself out of the way, right? Because I'm kind of like right in the right in the way. Let me move myself like here, okay? Resume. How's that? Now you guys can see the uh, all of the uh, how fast I'm going. Look, 4.4 miles per hour. Insane. I'm gonna go back to the future at this rate. Here we go. Another another lap. Lower my throttle. I can't. It's like all or nothing. I can't get it to stop. I skipped the tutorial. <laughs> I uh I skipped the tutorial, so look. If you see if you press I it just throttles off and then it turns the whole thing off. I don't know. I did the buttons, it told me to. Maybe if I just slow down every once in a while? Engaged. Engaged. Maybe you just gotta like inch into like where the grass is longer. Push the buttons. Yeah, no, I press them. It just turns the engine right off when you press them. Just press all of the buttons. I think there's only like two buttons though. I mean, I'm pressing a lot of buttons right now. Would a controller be better to increase and decrease better? I'm telling you, it's it said T and I. If I press I, it just turns the engine off. It, it's there's no there's no way to there's no way to stop it see it, it's a, it's either all or nothing i mean you could put it down to like a hundred it just turns it off the mouse wheel no the mouse wheel does not do anything either i'm just gonna carry on mowing the grass i mean none of you guys have even played this game so what are you talking about you guys don't know you get i don't know what it's like to mow a lawn out here in, this harsh, in these harsh conditions. 
You just don't know. No, no. I pressed the buttons. It didn't work, okay? That's it. We're moving on. We're going to move on with our lives. I think this game releases today. If you want to buy it and figure it out, be my guest. If that's your journey, cool. I'm, I'm happy for you. Me, I'm mowing lawns here. In four hours. There you go. It's coming out in four hours. I'm just mowing the lawn. And uh, I gotta say, I'm doing a pretty good job as well. I hope it does that panning thing at the end of the job so you can see how good of a job you've done. I think you can use a controller. I mean, I have a controller here. Oh, you know what? I think the controller is actually better. Because look, you can control the speed with the throttle. When you're using the keyboard, it's harder. Oh, but you know what? Actually, with the controller, it's so much better. Look at the look at the control you get. And then you can just go like the clappers. Because it's got like that, was it like force feedback or whatever? Need a wheel. I have a wheel, it's just not plugged in. It takes up too much real estate on the desk. Oh, this is much better, actually. Eh? And you get the, the vibrations on the controller, too. Racing aim setup. You think it would be good? Oh, look, you can take these corners so nicely with the controller. Oh. Okay, good. You use it a riot. No, 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 no. I'm using my Xbox 360 controller right now. Thanks very much. It's doing the job for me. Okay, there will come a time where... Oh, you can back up too. That's incredible. Okay. Let's do around here. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're pod racing. Now we're, now we're pod racing. This is good. This is good. We don't want to, we don't want to kick over too many tulips. Will I be trimming any bushes today? I don't think so, no. I don't think... I mean, it depends on what the later contracts are like, but for now, we're just mowing this lawn. We're just mowing a beautiful English garden. You know, we're just following the curves. Wherever the curves take us, that's where we're going. That's just where you got to go. See? There's always some grass... The grass is always greener on the other side. The grass always needs to be cut on the other side, too, it turns out. Okay, we don't want to miss any spots here. I don't know the name of the client, but I'm assuming that they have a keen eye for perfection and only perfection. They live in a, such a beautiful house, and they got this big, beautiful yard, too. Okay, I'm just going to follow these curves around again. Just taking it nice and slow. Can you draw something in the grass? Yeah, I'm sure you can, yeah. I think, you, I think you, the, the game probably allows for some of that. I wonder if this is going to be a bit like power washing sim when you, where you have to like pixel hunt at the end for like little blades of grass. Look, we're 79.1% done. It's taken us 11 minutes to get to this point. We didn't even fully clear the lawn either. We missed one thing. I guess we're going to find out what it is soon enough when we run over it. Get our blades all gummed up. You have to do 99% so it's slightly lenient. Yeah. 
Here we go. Okay, this bit's done. Looking nice, looking nice. Let's get rid of some of these hard corners here so that we can follow the curves around again. I wanted to, to destroy some gnomes. Why? What did the gnomes ever do to you? Look at the jungle, I know. I know, I don't know how people let their gardens get like this. P.S. My garden was much like this, like, just two weeks ago. Honestly, though, it worked out pretty good, because it, uh, it was really good. It kind of, like, doubled as a pollinator patch. We had so many uh, wildflowers and stuff growing in our garden. The bees and everything were loving it. It was really good. Really good. Can you go first person? I have no idea. I don't know if you can. I don't know what these bumpers and stuff do. Is there like a cheating lawnmower vision in this game? No, I think you have to just... You gotta use your, your mower's instinct to see if you've got all of the bits or not. Let me tell you something though. For instance, right here, definitely missed a little patch. Have I ever seen the lawnmower man? Oh uh, yeah, I don't remember it being as exciting as what I'm doing right now though. Like, I remember it being pretty weird. It was like all futuristic and shit though, right? No, this isn't the demo, this is the full game. This is the full game. It's um, It's coming out in like four hours. Mow the flower bed. No, no, I don't. I want to get paid for this job. I want to get paid so that I can buy a better mower. Don't get me wrong. This is a great mower, but... I got aspirations. Uh-oh. Missed a spot. No problem. Okay, we're about to find out if the five centimeters was the was the right cut. Maybe there's like a breakdown, like a job breakdown at the end. Uh oh. I just destroyed a petunia, I think. Reverse onto the trailer. I'm not quite done yet. I'm not just going to leave like this landing strip on this lady's yard. I'm shaving the whole thing. Okay. Good. How do you... Um... Oh yeah. Let's lift that up. Alright. It's time to reverse onto the trailer and finish the job. Oh, man. Okay, I really recommend using a controller. Look! Front garden, old nook cottage. What a beaut. Uh-oh. <laughs> I missed, like, one clump. I missed a clump. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Okay, good. Lawn mowing simulator. Ground check failed. Ground check earnings. 
so we got a grand total of $336 to add and 54 RP, giving us a total of 686 in the bank towards our next mower. Pretty good, pretty good. Looking good. Every story has a beginning. We've done it. We have insufficient funds. We can purchase an HQ. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Advertisements? No. No. There's more jobs. You can get a loan. So I think you can have multiple employees and stuff. All right, completion target. Cutting height is six to seven centimeters. So we're gonna have to adjust. This is Kingsbury House. Medium area with flower beds and it's intricate as well. Okay. Let's go. I should pay an, pay an influencer to advertise, advertise my services on Twitch. I know I should, you're right. Okay, this looks a lot like the one that we just did, but maybe a little bit easier. We'll have to go and do the ground check. So six to seven centimeters for this cut, it said, right? Is it just me or does the game look a little bit laggy like during those cutscenes? Oh. Okay, got one thing. Looks like you right now. Um, screen resolution. Oh, it's quite high actually. Let me put it to this. V-Sync on, motion blur off. Confirm. It's still quite bad, isn't it? Hang on. Uh, quality level. Let's try like this. How's that? Is that better, chat? Better? Better? Okay. It looks a little washed out to me, but does it look okay for you guys? It's like, it's pixely, isn't it? Yeah. It's still pixely. Oh, it's because it's like reverting to... Oh, no. It's because it's... So if you want to have it like here, nope, oh weird, it jumps up one every time, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. The grass poops on the bitrate. Normal. How's that? That better? That's better, right? Just delete the grass? Yeah, no, I know. I, I got rid of it. That's better, yeah? Okay, good. Okay, three out of five objects collected. Oh. Ah. Okay, I got all the stuff. All right, where the heck is my trailer? Not there. Here it is. The game makes you feel like you're on acid? Me too. Uh, hold X to start the engine. Use B. Nope. Uh, what are these buttons that it just told me about the throttle? B? No. Left or right? Oh, the, the D-pad. Ah, gotcha. Okay. And then X to engage the thing. Okay. Gotcha. 
Sorry, I don't use controllers that often. That's my excuse. Oh, shit. Cut height at 7? Okay, yeah, it said 6 to 7, right? I didn't change the cut height. I'll leave it at 7. It said 6 to 7, so that's fine. I know how to do it now, though. Okay, let's do the out the the perimeter first. And then we'll come back in and do all of the intricate things. Better in first person? I don't know how to get into first person. F1. C. Y. No, I've got a controller. What's the controller button to do it? Do you know? I clicked every button on the controller, yeah. The yellow button. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. I guess I didn't click every button. How's that, chat? Uh, look good? Get on VR. No, no, no. I don't want this on VR. Barfing everywhere. Here we go. I missed a corner? No, I did not. I'm a good mower. I never miss a corner. A good mower never misses a corner. I guess we could have used the path as like the sort of natural separator. We've done like two sides. This is, yeah, one of, one of the ultimate dad games for sure, yeah. Not many games exude the dad energy that this one does. Look at this. We're just blasting through this. We're already at 13.7%. No problem. We stay the course. Where's the beer holder in this lawnmower? Uh, it's in my hat. It's one of those ones that it's in your hat. You get like a straw. Oh god. Oh, I can't believe it. I missed a little bit. Okay. Let me get back on on course here. Man, my dad would be so proud if he could see me playing this game right now. All those years spent trying to convince me to mow the lawn. Sometimes I actually was forced to do it against my own will. But we never had one of these cool sit-down mowers in my defense. It was just one of those crappy stand-up ones with a, with a cord that you always almost ran over, you know? You know those ones? It's going so fast. I know, this is, this is the thing, like, nobody minds mowing the lawn if it takes you, like, two minutes, but those stand-up push ones? God, it takes like an hour. Nobody's got time for that these days. It's busy. I got, like, social media posts to make and stuff. I mean, come on. Can we spend an hour doing this crap? It's really satisfying, though. Like, uh, like power wash sim satisfying, isn't it? You get those curves. You hit the curve just right. The grass. Whoa. Just doing some lawn drifting? Hell yeah. Just so you finish one part and it just leads you on to another part so naturally, it's beautiful. 
Imagine people get paid to do this. I know. I've watched YouTube videos of people doing <laughs> doing just this. You know, have you ever seen the videos by that guy who's like, I surprised my neighbor by mowing his lawn for free. <laughs> Fuck, I love those. Just like does a full tidy up, like time lapse. Awesome. Yeah. I love them. I love that. It's great. Okay, I'm uh, going over to the other side again here. Oops, I've run out, but but check it out, all the way around the the uh, the planters here. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let's get this bit here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just keep going straight again. Straight, straight over. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just follow it around. Let's just see where it takes us, you know? It's like a going on a little adventure. Who knows where this is going to lead? Let's get, like, a better view here, too, so that we're not just looking at the grass. We can see some of the property ahead of us, too. Be nice. Are those begonias? I don't know. I think they're perennials. I don't actually know what a begonia is, or a perennial, by the way, for the record. All I know is that flowers are fucking great. They smell really good. They look really nice. <laughs> On a summer's day. Holy shit. I like that. You think they're delicious? Yeah, I think uh, most flowers you can eat, to be fair. I think most of them are edible. Wheel to the edge. No, I don't like to, because I, I, I always miss some, so I always give myself a little bit more on, on the side. I don't put the wheel right on the edge. Maybe, maybe like, uh, if this becomes an eSport, I'll do it, but, you know, just for, like, just for hanging out and doing dad chores, not required. Got to give myself a little bit of room here. I don't have fast reflexes, so. And I hate going back over what I've already done. You know, this is the most dad thing you've ever seen. Man, I should have done a cosplay for this. Just to get fully immersed. Just one trucker hat? I got, Twitch sent me one actually. They sent me one of those, um, you ever, have you seen those past forward kits that they've been sending to, um, to, to streamers? I got like a mug and a trucker hat and like a v-neck shirt and stuff. Oh, I should show it to you guys actually, I forgot. They look pretty cool. Not overalls, no. It's like, I got like a, a pin and like a drinks coaster. I never show you guys anything? No, it's true, I don't. To be fair, I've been like away for quite some time as well. I tell you what though, remember when I got the um, that package from Twitch for the ambassador program, which I never had to do any work for because they canceled the TwitchCon I was meant to go to as an ambassador? Um, remember the big thermos that they sent? Well, I've been using it like all the time for um, to, to prepare baby feeds. It's really good. It's huge, man. The capacity in that thing is enormous. Fit a lot of liquid in there. I've been using it. There you go. That's the one that, yeah, that's where I got the pimp cape from, you remember? Remember that haul? That was the one. 
too difficult to clean. What, the thermos? Well, I don't have to clean it very often because I, we only put uh, cooled, boiled water in it. So we put water in there at like 70 degrees and that's it. So it doesn't actually need to be cleaned all that often. Well, I think these people are going to be really happy with this job that I'm doing because I'm doing a perfect job. I mean, it needed it. This is some bushy ass grass. Right, I'm going to go all the way around this now. This big flower bed. Try to finish it off. Muchos grassy ass. Like, that's what they mean when they say that. It's this lawn, right? It means much, much grass. Because that this lawn has a, a lot of grass. Eighty percent exposed dirt. No, seventy-two point eight percent. Thank you very much. I think we're uh, almost out of fuel. We might have to fuel up for the next job. We're not close to running. We're about half right now. We got half fuel, but there was an option at the start to fuel up. I didn't reverse into the flower bed. I didn't get. Uh, I didn't get a penalty anyway, that I know of. I think we're fine. Got to keep it tight. Slow down a bit here. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the one. It's a real tight trim, yeah. But see, if you come in too close to that wheel, you always miss a strip. I don't want to miss a strip, and I don't want to miss a strip, cause even when I'm mowing lawns, the sweetest mow will never do, I just miss some grass, and I don't want to miss a strip. Do you know who Zach Grinky is? He's a professional baseball player. Took a break at the peak of his career to mow lawns for a year. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not familiar with him. Did he? Was it like um like a mental health thing? Because I mean, I can understand. Especially now, there's a lot more um, sort of emphasis on uh, on mental health these days, isn't there? So I think you'll find a lot of people will do stuff like that. Like, uh, what about like Simone Biles in the um, the Olympics and stuff as well? Just saying, no, I will not complete. I'm just not in the right headspace. Fair enough, isn't it? He's a great pitcher. Yeah, I mean, I think it takes uh, I think it takes a lot of courage to recognize that you just need a break. You know, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, granted, these guys get paid tons of money, but I mean, uh, what's all that money worth if you're not um, if you're not mentally healthy? You know what I mean? It's it's not worth it. You only get one life. You only get one life, and you got to be happy. And sometimes you got to take a year out and mow some lawns to uh, to find that happiness. More power to him. I think that's awesome. Yeah. It's worth tons of money. Yeah, well. He's not going to be able to make uh, money if he has, like, a breakdown, is he? My parents bought me a hand-pushed lawn motor. You need to never speak to your parents again. Uh, until they buy you one of these bad boys that you can sit down on because they are they are the future uh, if you're mowing your grass any other way I think you got to reevaluate your game plan honestly I don't think it's um, it's not the 1920s anymore okay it's the year 2021 either you get one of these or get a lawn Roomba and that's it no more push mowers 
Unless you're using one of those ones that, like, that is just purely push with no fuel, no motor, right? Then I say, yeah, you know what? You're doing your bit for the environment or whatever. That's fine. But I mean, if you're going to use fuel and a, and a motor and stuff, get one that you can sit down on at least. Destroy the earth in style, I say. Don't settle for anything less. 86.5% we are missing. Oh yeah, there's the whole other side, right? I did all this. I hate the earth <laughs> too. Man, I hate the earth. You know what? For the longest time, I fucking hate the Gulf Stream as well. And you know what? It's about to collapse and good riddance. Fuck the Gulf Stream. Am I right, guys? I'm just joking. I think that's terrible. Uh, it's uh, even a poor, poorly, poor taste joke to make, but it, it's looking, it's looking more and more like it's gonna fucking go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's bad news. It's, it's bad news. There's gonna be lots of flooding if it goes. Uh, the UK especially is gonna be totally fucked. The winters are gonna be way too cold. Brand risk. <laughs> I know. You like this topic of conversation? Oh, I damaged the ground? Oh. Britain will freeze. Man, yeah, it's gonna be like... It's gonna be like Canadian winters over here if the, uh, if the Gulf Stream goes. It'd be nuts. It'd be like living in Siberia. Yeah, you're right. I mean, and there's, you know, flooding and, uh, and, uh, you know, the ecology of the, of those parts of the ocean and stuff as well. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty bad. Scary stuff. Oh, shit. Honestly, I don't think there was any avoiding that. Yeah. That's it. It's that little, little tiny place. Hey, look, you see all those cars and people walking around outside? It's pretty cool. It's a living, breathing environment. Does this game have IRL models of lawnmowers? I think so. Unless they're just all fictional ones. I can't say that I'm uh, overly familiar with um, lawnmower brands and models. So I'm not sure. Here we go. Oops. Missed a big one here. Maybe there was a better way of doing this, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it was okay, but... Why is this so mesmerizing? Man, I don't know, it's the same as uh, Power Wash Sim. There's just something about um, getting a job done that's very satisfying, am I right? There's a big spot I missed somewhere? No, you're right about that. Cutting complete. Okay, yes, but it's not really, is it? Because look, maybe we should ma leave like a trademark tuft every time as like a calling card. Could be kind of cool, right? Okay, I'm just going to back up onto the trailer here. Uh, let's raise this. I'm just going to look behind me to reverse nicely. Jeez. Hello? The, like, it just develops a mind of its own when you try to look around the other side. It's just, it just does not want to go this way because I think it's like conflicting with like the view thing or something. Let's try it like this. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go straighten out a bit here. 
Okay, we we got it. Look at that. Oh, whoops, sorry. I just dropped my controller. I need to I need to have a drink of water after that. It's too much. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Look. We got there. Let's see. Um uh, Penalties and fines four dollars and twenty three four pounds and twenty three pence I should say sorry three pounds for destroyed flowers and fifty pence for one collision. Also, we did seventy three pence worth of ground damage. Okay, our blades are wearing a little bit, and we uh, lost a lot of fuel there, but looking pretty good. Newcomer rank two, new level unlocked. What does that mean? Amateur challenge one. Nice. Do we want to do um, some advertisements? Or are we off to garden, paddock, or the Jefferson garden? Look at that, a hilltop house. Look at the complexity of paddock. It's worth 690 bucks and 135 RP. Okay, let's get Hogan on it. So it's got to be seven to eight centimeters. Um, 99.5% cut. 35 minutes. Okay, let's go. We need to get some fuel, yeah. We'll fuel up, don't worry. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. There's not as many flower beds on this one. It's like a big area, but it seems a bit more open. <clears throat> they got like a little shed, or is that like an animal barn or something? I don't know. Okay. Change the blades. Okay, let's fill her up with some fuel. change our cutting blades all right we have to go and pick up some uh, some stuff off the ground here we go one object collected so there's an old tractor back here just do a clean a sweep and clear of the area oh Three out of five objects have been collected. I see there's like a couple of tufts here. Oh. All you gotta do is get a little bit close to it and it presents itself. Okay, we've done it. All right, ready? Um, so what was it? Eight to nine? Um, throttle up, cut height. Oh, we can only do seven. Was it seven to nine? Uh oh, I hope seven's gonna be okay. I don't think we have the right mower for this job. It was six to nine, was it? Okay, let's do the outside first. Whoa. All right, we just gotta find our groove here. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby is right. Just gotta find our groove here, and then boom. We're off to outer space. The trim is a hand push mower job? No, 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 look. They leave you lots of uh, space in between here. See, look. It's a nice, there's a nice patch of ground in between the grass and the hedge. No problem. 
if you're gonna leave some little clumps you might as well leave them on these edges so nobody will know nobody's gonna look at that oh okay our first full run around is done here look now we cut into this oh you can see I had some trouble around here look and we don't have to worry about getting too close to the we need to go slower this is tall grass so it's a lot of extra work for the engine when you get into it you know don't want to we don't want our we don't want our motor to crap out Okay, full speed ahead. Oops. Let's take it easy on these corners here. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. <coughs> Can you put the RPM down? No. It's either uh, full throttle or no or none. But you can adjust your speed with the uh, with the triggers on the uh, on the controller by not pressing them as hard if you know what I mean what's that called again is that force feedback or is that something different I'm not a console person so I don't really know all the terminology modulation pressure sensitivity analog triggers analog triggers analog triggers okay we'll settle on that tickle touch <laughs> tickle touch it's the trigger so yeah it is it's the uh, it's the I'm using the right trigger right now Viacom. What other like scenarios would you mow a grass? Or like mow a lawn? Like all we've done is backyard so far, but like what about like a big commercial mowing gig, like a golf course? What about the grass of a football pitch in a stadium or something? Yeah, football pitch would be kind of cool. What about the tennis courts at Wimbledon? That would be neat. <laughs> Civil War? <laughs> Come on. What? You could you could mow uh, Abraham Lincoln's presidential lawn during a war. A graveyard could be challenging. Yeah. A golf course. Golf course would be nice. A baseball diamond? Yeah. A field hockey rink? Mow some kelp under the sea? Hmm. Did you guys watch the uh, the women's water polo Olympics? In, in, for the Olympics? Man, what a sport. How the hell do you even get into that? Like, how do you sign up to be on a team? Like, I've never seen, like, an advertisement for, like, players for a water polo team in the paper or anything. Like, where the how the hell did they find out that this is what they want to do? gonna take this corner nice and slow perfect increase the speed 
We're working our way from the outside in, which I think is like the, uh, the lawnmower's mantra. Oh, universities usually have team in the U teams in the UK? Oh, fair enough. Forrest Gump DLC. Oh, you know what? I, was, I saw on uh, Netflix, they've got a new season of the movies that made us, and Forrest Gump is one of the movies on it. Back to the Future, Forrest Gump, Pretty Woman, something else. I can't remember what it is. It's Back to the Future 2, I think. Or was it just Back to the Future? Jurassic Park is on there as well. Yeah, that's right. Jurassic Park. Yeah, I need to watch them. I, I enjoyed the first uh, season. With Home Alone and Ninja Turtles and stuff. is awesome. I love Forrest Gump. I haven't seen Forrest Gump since uh, it came out. Like, I saw it in theaters. And... I think I might have watched it like a couple of years later on VHS. Like, well, I think my parents bought it. But otherwise, I haven't seen Forrest Gump since. Like, I don't know if it still holds up. Depending on who you speak to. Um, and um, in this case, I, you know, I'm saying Northern Lion because he hates it. Um, it's not a great movie, but I'm pretty sure that it's considered a classic, right? Like, it's. It had, um, it won like awards and everything, right? It's still okay. I remember liking it when I was a kid, but again, I don't know if I'd like it as much as an adult. My wife didn't like it. She was just like, it was one of those movies for her where it was just, everybody was like, had overhyped it too much. They were like, oh, it's the best movie, you gotta see it. And then she saw it and she was like, what? She didn't really like it. Do you think that the water polo players would ask how you get into virtually mowing lawns for a living? I suppose they would, yeah. Come to think of it, yeah. I guess it's like two worlds colliding, you know? I don't know why this is so taxing for my, uh, for my, my engine here. It's like a constant overloading of the engine. Just, just trying to get around this trough here. Whoa. It's a little little bit of uh, of a repel happening there too. Oh, because the grass is so so thick and bushy. Yeah, you're right. We gotta slow down for this thick grass. Will I do a speed run of this game? Um, <laughs> you're witnessing it right now. I can't go any faster. I'm at peak performance here. If I went any faster, I would overload all of Twitch. Twitch can't handle this. Alright, let me just turn around here. Let's get these tricky bits out of the way. Oh, listen to that. Did you hear that? Canada goose in the distance. They like to hide in uh, in tall grass. I'll leave a little patch for my little goose friend to hide in. Then he could just like uh, surprise the owner of the house one day. The owner of the house is going to come outside and be like, Hey, the fucking guy left a little patch of... <laughs> yeah, out comes the Canada goose from the little patch. <laughs> Oh my god! How did this thing get back here? Yeah. It would be the ultimate prank. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's an epic prank, yeah, I know. I only... When I prank, I only do epic pranks. I don't settle for less. I think if you're gonna prank someone, do it epically. You know? Make it an epic one. Mow around the objects, don't just pass them in a straight line. 
Um, actually, I have my own little technique, and I like to create, like, little areas uh, with straight lines that I then go back and cut around after, okay? I like to work from the outside in, and then when I get to an obstacle, I like to sort of, like, box it off, and then, uh, and then I move in for the kill. Okay? Is that okay? Uh, can I play this game the way I want to, or, or no? Fuck. No, I didn't think so. Do you think that they want this stuff mode? I feel like they want this mode, right? They don't want this shit here. It's like some bull rushes or something. Nobody wants bull rushes on their property. Right? Nobody wants some bull rushes on their property. Okay, let me just... Things were getting a little bit crazy there. I'm gonna get right in here, look. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Nice. Okay, let's just get this... No problem, no problem. So, uh, like, just a tiny bit of damage, it's fine. I got insurance, it's fine. Just jam it in there, no, no, it's, uh, it's like just a little couple scratches on the paintwork, you know, it's alright. You gotta go really slow in this tall grass, and you know what, I think it's also wet grass, too. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it's raining a little bit. Trim the hedges with the mower. No. Tall, wet grass, yeah. It's a bad combo. Okay. I'm just gonna just gonna e ease it in here. Can I mow your butt? I don't have the um I don't have the, my, uh, it's only, I only have an 85, uh, centimeter coverage rate with this current deck. I'd need a much bigger one to, uh, adequately mow your butt, so it's going to take me some time to save up to get the better mower. I need a, I need a, a wider deck. Is what I'm trying to say. The deck is not wide enough. Have I drawn a dangus in the grass yet? No. No, of course I haven't. I'm out here trying to earn some... Earn some money. For doing a good job. I'm not out here wasting people's time with my juvenile shenanigans. I'm out here trying to get the job done. Should do an intentionally shitty job to spite capitalism as a system. Well, listen, we're never gonna be able to get a new mo mower with that attitude. So how about I do a good job? We save up the big bucks, and then we make our lives a lot easier when we have a much wider deck, more coverage. Time is money. Yeah, exactly. Alright, we should be able to go a bit faster. I feel like this is a complex job that required a different mower. For instance, I don't even think we've cut this at the right height. Because uh, our mower is incapable <laughs> of reaching these specific heights. You know? No, the objective's like 35 minutes. I think we're I think we're fine for for time. 
I think it's just um, some of the technical aspects. For example, maybe a mower that didn't experience engine strain on this taller grass, tall wet grass, I should say. some of that my wide deck got all the grass wet no no the grass is already wet before my wide deck uh, showed up and uh, and actually it's not that wide of a deck in the grand scheme of things could be wider could be a lot wider yeah I've got a pretty small deck here yeah it's like an entry level deck. Yeah, just a little tiny one, yeah. Your deck is slightly above average. How much did you have to pay for that? How much money did you have to pony up for that one? We're 50% done already. How many months before the baby is sleeping through the night? Um, not long now. Baby's a month old tonight. Uh, it's not really that long now. It's um, it just basically it's when they're um, they develop a little bit more. Their stomachs get a little bit bigger, and they can hold more milk. Um, usually governs whether they can. Um, go right through the night they kind of sleep all the time um, and uh, they either wake up if they have gas just a, a lot of the time or they're hungry when they're hungry you feed them um, our baby drinks like three two three ounces of milk per feed which usually sees her through for like three hours or so before the next feed so, for example, last night, she woke up at midnight. Uh, she woke up at about 3.30. Um, and then she woke up again at about 6. And then she slept from 6 until about 9. So that's a lot. She wakes up a lot to feed. Yeah. I mean, it's been like that every night for a month, for Christ's sake. Jeez. That's good. It's good. You get like three hour chunks of, of rest, which is pretty good, but yeah, it's, it's better when they sleep for longer, for sure. She's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. We, we collect data. Yeah. We actually, um, we have an app. You take notes of it and it's really interesting. You can see, um, over time, you can see over time uh, they start to take longer in between feeds, which is uh, which is good. It's nice. The future is now. Yeah, just log it in the app every time. When will the baby start mowing the lawn? Man, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Why is nine weeks old? We track the sleep. Gets so much better so quickly. It's ace to see the progression. Yeah, I know. It is. It's nice, isn't it? It is good. Um, this baby more so than my other kids sleeps, though. Like, uh, my other kids did not. My son uh, had uh, ear infections all the time and barely ever slept. The only time he really slept was uh, in the car. But, I mean, you can only drive around the island so many times, right, to get him to sleep. My daughter just didn't sleep. She was just, like, up all the time. Um... But, uh, our, like, our, our, our newborn daughter sleeps all the goddamn time. It's crazy. She only wakes up to, uh, to eat. 
And sometimes she gets gas as well, which she'll wake up for, but that's usually like shortly after a feed. Yeah, you do that as well? Yeah. You do the face? She do, she's like, uh, you, you, you like have to like hold her upright somewhat to like, uh, to burp her. Which like when you're doing it, she falls asleep. <laughs> pretty funny and while she's falling asleep she pulls all these faces like she smiles or like she sort of like grimaces like it's just like her brain developing she doesn't like really know what to do it's pretty funny it's like a, it's just like a, like a drug addict or something you know like you give her milk and she just like passes out with her mouth wide open and <laughs> her eyes are rolling in the back of her head You do that too, nice. It's good. What is it like to live on an island? Do you live there all my life? No, I moved here in 2003. I lived in Canada up until 2003. Living on an island is uh, is fine. It's at first, when you first move over, you're kind of like, wow, this is a small place. And it feels a little bit claustrophobic, which lasts for like a week. And then you're just like, oh yeah. I mean, when you think about it, depending where you live, like, say you live in a big city. You don't go all over the city. You live in a neighborhood. You probably work in that neighborhood or close to the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, your 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 personal geography is not that big, you know? So living on an island is much the same. It just means that, like, if you want to go drive somewhere for six hours, you can't. But who wants to do that anyway, you know? I don't even leave my house. I know. Well, I mean, nobody does recently with COVID and stuff. Oh. Man, this is a big lawn. This is a, this was, this was a tough one with this mower. I think we needed a better mower for this. Just drive in a circle for six hours? Well, I guess you could. You drive one hour to get to work? Jeez. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do that. Even when I even when I didn't do this for a living, when I worked like uh, at a proper place, it's, it the nice thing about living on a small island is that everywhere is like five minutes away. It used to be like a five ten minute walk to work. I used to walk home for lunch every day too. I used to just walk home for lunch, watch some scrubs or whatever, and then go back. It was great. Now I walk like a second outside. Yeah. Most people drive an hour plus to get to work now. I guess, um, well, I guess it depends on your job, but hopefully, um, hopefully there'll be a lot more remote and home working now, right? There seems to be a lot more of a push for it. I think people have gotten a taste of the, taste of the good life with, uh, because of uh, places having to adopt that for like uh, during the pandemic and stuff, right? A lot of people are saying they don't want to actually go back to working in an office. You can mow lawns from home, yeah. You can do it with a drone. Yeah. Get a lawn drone. Hell yeah. How can I have an affair working from home? Man, there's so many online uh, avenues for that to happen. You can have tons of affairs from home. You just gotta believe. a bit of a hill there. Have you managed to fit in all my fares as a Twitch streamer? Very, very delicately. I, I run a tight ship. Meanwhile, mowing grass in the game. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Am I enjoying this game so far? Hell yeah. It's great. It's got everything that you would expect from this game. 
lawn mowing. Hey, Anonymous, thank you so much for the 25 gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Anony Moose. Anony Moose, the Canada Goose. I like that there's an HQ and stuff. There's like some, uh, there's like some overarching sort of, uh, like, you know, management stuff in this as well. I feel like maybe you can hire staff at some point too, because it, it seems that you can assign people to jobs. So maybe there'll be so many jobs that you can send people out to do jobs with your equipment and stuff, which could be kind of fun. You could build a lawn mowing empire, yeah. Am I playing Zomboid later? No. We'll be we'll play some more tomorrow. We got another sponsored thing tomorrow. There's an, another game that we're getting sponsored to play tomorrow. It'll be similar like to like to today. We'll play a bit of Zomboid in the morning and then we'll play um We'll play um we'll do the sponsored thing in the afternoon. I I can probably stream a bit longer tomorrow though, because um usually my mother in law comes down on a on a Wednesday. So if she comes down it frees me up to uh, to stream, so we might get some more Zomboid in tomorrow than we did today. You missed the first part of the stream. Thought I rage quit Zomboid? No, no, we're doing pretty good. We um, we made it back home. We didn't find a new car, but we went on a little adventure uh, to the sort of west of the map, east of the map, I should say. Sorry, it was east of the map. We found like another farm and some little houses and stuff. There wasn't really that much interesting there, but I think we got a couple of books and whatnot. We could do with getting a better weapon for sure. Think of all the housewives you are banging after mowing their lawn. I don't know if it works like that. I mean, I don't think they just wait around for somebody to come and mow the lawn and then have sex with them. Like maybe on that show Desperate Housewives or something, but like in real life, I don't know. Is this mowing? Oh yeah, it is. It does in America. I don't know though. Does that actually really happen in real life? I suppose it happens sometimes, but maybe not like as... Maybe it's not as prolific as you guys are claiming it to be. This game is set in the Desperate Housewives universe? Whatever happened to that show? Is it still going or did it just naturally finish? It had to have lost popularity, right? Like, it wasn't... I remember watching, I think the first season was okay, but it wasn't great. It finished like 10 years ago. It finished with the big climax? Oh. It got cancelled. What, like, because of low ratings or for some other reason? It had a natural finish. You gotta love when a series has a natural finish, right? Like The Wire, Six Feet Under had a really good ending. Um, what else? Sopranos had a pretty good ending. Like, there's there's been a lot of shows that have had just a nice natural finish, right? Game of Thrones <laughs> had an awesome ending, yeah. Uh, Breaking Bad had a great ending, yeah, for sure. Futurama, I don't recall the ending of. I never watched that much Futurama, honestly. Like, I, I liked it. I watched it a bit, but... Like, I watched The Simpsons way more when I was a kid. Futurama kind of came out when I wasn't a kid, so I think that's why I probably didn't really watch it that much. Have I seen My Name is Earl? No, I've never watched that before. I've heard of it, but I've never watched it, I don't think. It's all on Prime. What, Futurama? You recommend watching it? Yeah, I saw Dexter's coming back. I kind of gave up on Dexter. I gave up on Dexter uh, in on the, the... 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 The season that at the start had the high school reunion. When he went to the high school reunion. It was after the Lumen season. Which wasn't... Was also not that great. I don't know, it just, I, I just, it, it's just too much Dexter in the end, you know? Yeah, I think the Trinity, the Trinity Killer season was really good. And it would have been actually good to end it there. I agree. 
Yeah, I can't believe they're rebooting it as well, Erica. It's nuts, isn't it? It's not even that old a show to reboot, you know? Like, reboot Chips or something. <laughs> like, that's an old-ass show. Reboot Gilligan's Island. Don't reboot Dexter. Ted Lasso Season 2 has been pretty good so far. I've been watching it. <laughs> chips. <laughs> they already rebooted Chips? Oh, no. I was just joking. Why did they do that? Well, I know why they did it, but like... I bet you my parents watch that. They probably would have loved that. Oops. A little tuft. A missing tuft. They rebooted Hawaii Five-0. I don't know if I ever watched Hawaii Five-0. I remember the music from Hawaii Five-0, but I don't know if I ever watched the show. Jericho. I want to watch a. I want a show that's a like. Like the 100, but not the 100, you know? Like, something like, uh, sort of like, you know, apocalypse survival, but like, better written and, and better acted. I know it's asking a lot, but... <laughs> the 200? <laughs> something like that, yeah. Yeah. Jericho? What is Jericho? Alone? What are th all these TV series? Jesus Christ, there's so many TV series now. I can't even keep up. I've been watching that Philly DA, which is good. I think I'm almost done. I got like two more episodes. Um, and I don't really know what to watch out. I might watch the movies that made us uh, season two, actually, after that's done. And uh, I'll watch some more of that. Uh, what's it called? I think you should leave. See if uh, see if there's any any more funny parts in it. Expanse I've watched. There's gonna be a Fallout, a Fallout TV show soon. Soon. <clears throat> I don't know about soon. I heard that they were making one though. That could be kind of cool. Have I watched Succession? No. I don't even know if I've heard of it. Is it an HBO thing? Succession? No, I didn't watch Clarkson's Farm, no. I heard it's funny, but... I heard it's entertaining. And, uh... And that it's worth a watch, but I haven't watched it. It's gonna be a hard sell. My wife also dislikes Clarkson, so... It's not, not likely to be something that's... That's kind of like officially watched you know it might be something that I just end up watching when I have nothing else to watch you dislike Clarkson but it's good I've heard that that's the case yeah I heard that I, d I don't really know that anybody actually likes Clarkson but um, but still people who who tend to not like him praise the show all the same just watch some Pokemans with the kiddos. My kids watch a lot of like uh, anime on uh, on uh, Netflix. I, I understand that this is a thing for kids now, because uh, my one of my childhood friends who has uh, teenagers, he's got three teenagers. He had kids a lot earlier than we did. Uh, said all of all his kids, all they do is watch anime. They just watch like The Last Airbender and uh, fucking Spirited Away and. Ponyo and all this stuff on Netflix. My kids are the same. They just watch. They watch all that shit. I think like all their friends at school watch it too. So that's why it's like, Last Airbender is great. Yeah, I've seen bits of it. I, I, I mean, it didn't, it didn't look that interesting. But like I said, my son watches it. It's like, um, man. The life they live is crazy compared to the one that like I like I lived when I grew up. I mean, when you used to wake up in the morning, I mean, if you if you're in a kid in the 80s, right, and you woke up during your summer vacation on a weekday, 
They had cartoons on until like maybe 8 in the morning or so, and then it was just daytime TV, right? You were stuck with it. There's no way around it. There's no on demand or anything. Saturday morning cartoons was definitely a thing. Um, and then Sunday you had all those fucking church shows and stuff, right? Like, uh, even in Canada, we got, like, the Latter-day Saints stuff and, and everything. It was, it was nuts. Being homesick was so bad. I mean, it was great if you had an, a Nintendo and stuff, but... Yeah, it wasn't the same as now. You just have, you know, anything you want to watch at your fingertips. It's nuts. Do an Amazon video watch party? Yeah, I could do. We, we, we probably should do one at some point. It could be fun. I don't know. It's, I don't really know what to watch, though. I don't find... Uh, I don't find Prime that great for shows, honestly. The Prime exclusives... I don't think I've seen one that I've actually fully watched or enjoyed. Like, they, they just don't seem to be that good. I, but to be fair, though, I haven't watched The Boys, which I hear is really good. I know everybody loves The Boys. And the Expanse, yeah, the Expanse, but that's, um, oh yeah, I guess that's Amazon now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I take it back, I like the Expanse. Vikings was good too, uh, it got less good later on. Uh, it's done now though, right? Is this the final season? I really didn't like the stuff with, uh, with, um, Ivar and, and stuff. It, the, the, the show just lost me for all that, it just wasn't that great. Grand Tour, I'm not, like, really into. I wouldn't really watch it. I saw the Wu-Tang show, yeah. I, I've seen that. I saw the first season of it. I don't know when the next season's coming out. I guess they probably haven't been able to film it because of COVID and stuff. But it, the first season was really good, actually. I, I really liked it. BoJack Horseman? I've never watched that before. Is that on, uh, is that on Prime? I thought that was an, a Netflix thing. Bojack. Yeah, it is Netflix, isn't it? I've seen it on Netflix for sure. It's a sad horse show. Isn't he like a like a like a manic depressive horse or like a it's got like like an alcoholic or something? I don't know. I've never seen the show. I'm just guessing. I don't really know what it's about. We're almost done. There are a couple of tufts, but I think we only needed to do like 95 point something percent. We're at 96.3. Was it 98.5 percent that we needed to do? I think I've given my engine a good run for its money this time with all this tall wet grass. Forty minutes of pure mowing. What time is it? Hey, I tell you what, we still have another like forty odd minutes of mowing to go. We could probably do like maybe two small ones or another big one in that time. Yeah, we almost used all of our fuel for this job. this last bit where you just have to slowly circle in and then bang you're done oh that is satisfying look I can go even slower too bad this isn't in VR. Hey. It might be one day. I mean, how do you know? It's not even out yet. Maybe there's some big VR plans for this. Cutting complete. Okay. Not quite, though, game. Thanks. Definitely some mowing left to be done here. This little tuft here as well. All right, good. It's time to reverse onto the trailer. Mm. Just lift this bad boy here. 
Look at that. I'm a fucking god. I damaged the ground? I probably did a couple of times. Do you know what? I don't even think I cut this at regulation length. I think I'm going to get a penalty or two. Where did the clippings go? It's all mulched up and spit back onto the ground. Some poor asshole's got to come out here and rake it. It's not my job. It's not my, it's simply not my job. Um, penalties and fines, 10 pound 37 for collisions. <laughs> we got charged one pence for ground damage. And uh, vehicle maintenance total is 54 pounds 48. For a total of 632 pounds. 30 pence. Uh, putting us up to 1,600 cent. We can almost afford to get another mower. Newcomer rank 3. New level unlocked. Nice. 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 Uh, garden? The Jefferson Garden? Gardens. Do, do, do. 5.5 to 6.5 centimeters general cut let's go 5.5 to 6.5 right 5.5 to 6.5 got it oh look at this beautiful garden man i would love a garden like this that these are the nicest gardens right these like these like English countryside gardens. Oh man, they look so good. I like the little arches and the vines and shit on them too. Okay, good. Um, fuel up. Uh, change the blades. Sure. We have to go pick up some objects in the in the in the garden as well. Let's have a quick quick scan around here, see if we can find some some intruders. Just do some big sweeps. Got one. Oh. Yep, yeah, got another one. No problem. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one. Oh. Three objects. So we're still missing two. Two? Two. It's got to be over here somewhere, right? Is that it? No. Oh, look at there it is. Look. Look at all the blood on these. Gross. Oh. Okay. All done. No, we don't have a trimmer for the edge. Alright, let me just go through my checks here. Let's turn on the engine. Um, let's uh, lower the cutting deck. Yeah. 5.5 uh, to 6.5. Let's put it at 6. And um, we'll throttle up. And then let's engage the cutting blades uh, when we get closer to the uh, to the lawn here. Whoops. Which side are we going to do first? Left or right? It's got to be left, right? Let's go. gonna do the uh, the edges here first I got this no problem oh look at how look at how graceful I am with my turns I'm like a ballerina out here sitting on a lawnmower. Mm. Mm, 
very nice. Mind numbing. Come on, we mind pleasing. The endorphins should be circulating on mass right now. If they're not, you're you're doing it wrong. You're not in, you're not enjoying the dad chores enough. Where's my beer? Uh, it's attached to my hat with a drinking straw coming out of the hat directly into my mouth. You're actually kind of turned on by this? See, Jacob knows what's up. He's doing it right. Jacob's doing watching the stream the right way. Fully erect. I'm giving so much adrenaline. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a high-octane streamer, and this is a high-octane stream. you got to make sure that you're, uh, you're, you're ready to feel the heat. Look at this, we're gonna do this whole side. It's gonna slow down to get these curves in. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's a nice dry day today as well. We're not we don't have to deal with all that wet grass like we did last time. Curve, this professional curving. You won't see curve. They should make an, a, an Olympic event for this. Or like have a lawn mowing competition or something? I mean, how cool would that be? How does the grass feel? It feels great. It smells great too. It's perfect. We're doing a, a really good regulation. Let's try to get perfect this time. Let's try not to get any penalties. I mean, maintenance and fuel, you can't avoid, but like, let's try not to get like any lawn damage or collisions or anything this time. I think so far, so good. It's a perfect run. We just live for these perfect runs, right? They have an Olympic preparation for the field games. Oh, that would be good too. Make a game about that. Olympic planner manager sim. Olympic tycoon. Oh, Olympic tycoon could be kind of fun actually. Not even joking actually, that could be kind of fun. You have to set up your own Olympics and like get athletes to compete in the games and stuff. <clears throat> Watch all the horses go crazy. Failed doping tests. Oh my god. Water polo. Oh my god. You ready? I could have done that a lot better. Could have done that a lot better. Sometimes I just don't know my own strength when I'm uh, when I'm pressing on these uh, these uh, these triggers. You know, sometimes I just don't realize my own strength. Got to restart the game. No, it's still a perfect run. No restart required. I think if you mow the lawn like this, you got like those patterns, right? Where it looks like you can see where they mowed, which direction they mowed in. And then you get these nice sweeping curves and it makes the lawn look better. That's why I do it. I mow these lawns like I would want to mow my own if I could be bothered to mow my own lawn. 
That's how passionate I am out here. You have to do... You have to alternate um, sizes to get the stripes. Yeah. So you have to change the cut height from like 6 to 5. If you want to do the stripes and the crisscrosses and stuff, right? Lawn mowing stream win? Man, never. I don't even mow my own lawn. I hate doing that. <laughs> I like doing this, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm in a nice air-conditioned garage. I'm in my shorts. Like, it's not that loud. I can control the volume and stuff. Looking perfect. It's perfect. I don't have to deal with all the cut grass, exactly. I don't have to do any raking and stuff. Man, it's ideal. No bugs. I'm not getting a sunburn. I'm getting a radiation burn from my monitor, but that's, you know, it's a different kind of burn. I'm glowing. Thanks. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You know what I was watching before I started streaming? You guys ever watch that, uh, was it like Wanted, uh, is it Wanted Down Under or it's that, it's that show where they, where they, the couple decide that they want to move from the UK to like Australia or New Zealand. And, uh, man, every episode of that show is the exact same. It's always, it's, it, it's always the wife who just decides suddenly to become obsessed with moving to Australia or New Zealand. These, it's not even because they have family there or anything. They just want to move. Uh, and then the husband's always really reluctant. They always have kids that are small enough for the wife to just be like, kids, this is going to be awesome. Let's do this. So they just agree with her. It's always the same. Wanted Down Under. Yeah, that's the one, man. What a show. Homes Under the Hammer. Two thumbs up. Wanted Down Under. Two big stinky thumbs down for me. It's the worst. It's always the same. Place in the sun. Good morning from California. Good morning. California. Good morning. Messi is moving to Paris, Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, I heard that. Wasn't he really? He was. I saw him crying about leaving. Um, was it Barcelona that he left? He's been there for a long time, right? Yeah, crazy. Wasn't there like some mix-up with contracts or something like that, and they couldn't sort it out, and so now he's just leaving. And he's going to join an, a different club. Oh, he's got to be one of the best players in the in the world, though, right, Messi? The contract was very messy. <laughs> yeah. They broke. They broke the contract. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I don't follow football, but... He's 34. Jesus. Was it, Ronaldo's like 37, right? It's pretty old. Pretty old for a footballer. Usually they retire like sort of mid-30s, right? 36. Yeah, Ronaldo's like almost a billionaire. It's worth like 600 million or something. It's insane. The guy's like, uh... The guy's like only 10 years older than me. Uh, it's unbelievable what he's accomplished. What am I going to accomplish in the next 10 years? <laughs> Fuck all. That's, that's about the long and short of it, jeez. Ten mode lawns. If we're lucky, yeah, jeez, at this rate. I have three kids, true. Yeah. I do have three kids. Maybe uh, one of my three kids will become the next Ronaldo. 
Hey, eh? Wouldn't that be something? Can you imagine, though? Man, I would have to take them to so many football practices. Like, jeez. You gotta weigh it up, right? Like, okay, potentially, and it's a big gamble. There's hundreds of millions of pounds in it for me, maybe. But, like, man. Like, uh, like rain or shine, you gotta be out there, like... Good job watching them play football and stuff. Fuck. No way. What if you just got like a like a cardboard cutout of yourself with like a like one of those like voice repeater things that's like has a motion sensor on it. And every time like it can detect when your when your kid looks at it. It's like, well done. <laughs> every time they look over. Good job. Then you get to then you get to enjoy the millions with not a lot of effort put into it either. No. Good pace. Good eye. <laughs> good eye's a good one as well, right? <laughs> good hustle sport. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say good hustle sport is fine. <laughs> Some scores an own goal. Well done. Uh, it's like, you, I mean, you don't want to put yourself out too much and record too many lines either, right? So it's always going to be the same line. Better luck next time. We'll get him next year, champ. Like, just a couple of, like, really, really sort of basic lines, right? <laughs> this referee is blind. The ref is blind. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's like seven or eight good lines. <laughs> good save. He's not even the goalie. <laughs> He's not even the goalie. Great save. Ref, that was a double dribble. <laughs> it's like the wrong sport. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely degrees that you could fuck this up, I'm sure, but... <laughs> oh, run, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Way to go, Billy. Yeah, no, you can't be specific with the naming, right? I got three kids, so I cannot be specific with the naming. These these seven sound clips have got to survive. Uh, three three kids worth of sports. You know, they gotta be really, really, really. Um, they gotta. It's gotta be a good spread. Really non-specific. Holy crap, this is just one side, by the way. This is just one. I'm going to up the pace here. Look, we haven't damaged the engine at all. It's a nice dry day. We can go full tilt around these corners here. Except for when you get to these tricky corners that you got to, like, slow down a bit. But then, boom, pedal the metal, baby. Look at that. We're burning rubber. Too, too much chatting. It's just doing too much inane chatting when I should actually be concentrating on the job at hand. They come out here and they say, hey, pick up the pace. I'm going to say, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I have to talk to all these bozos. I'm getting sidetracked big time. I'm talking about voice modulators for a cardboard cutout of... You know what, actually... What if like they I had the cardboard cutout on the lawnmower with the voice modulator and if they came out and they're like pick up the pace we could use some of the lines as well. Good job. Uh what? Sorry? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Get him, jam. It's like multi-use. Use it for multiple multiple uses. All right, no problem. We got this. Okay, let's do this. Oh, here we go. Oh, chat, look at this. And it leads perfectly into this little triangle. That we're just gonna mow the shit out of.
I'm slicing and dicing out here. Look at this. Slow down. Oh no, speed up, I think is what you mean to say. Alright. Now we just do around the flower bed. Oh, look at these turns. God, it's like I've been doing this for two hours and I'm really good at it, you know? We gotta be careful because we're still trying to do a perfect run here. So we don't want to accidentally kick some tulips or run over some posies or whatever, you know? Trying to do a perfect job on this lawn. Should do the outline and then do straight lines in the middle. So you mean do? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Do you think that's easier though? I kind of like doing the curve around. I, 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 I kind of like not stopping, you know? I like to just keep going. You get into a, a flow with it. It's nice. Like, see these bits here? I hate them. Oh, see, I'm damaging the lawn now because I think I'm going too fast. That's it. The perfect run. Dashed. We can't do it now. We lost our perfect run because I was going too fast. New save. Shit. Gotta do a hard restart. It's a challenge for sure. Okay, this side's done. Okay, let's try it the other way this time and see if it's any good. We're gonna do the contour first. Oops. Slight collision there. We'll do the contour first and then we'll do straight lines. Ah, uh, you know, fuck it. We're just going to do it the same way we've been doing it. It's been fine. It's been absolutely fine, right? I think in the real world, though, yeah, I agree. I think people would kind of do the uh, around all the beds first, and then they would do straight lines, right? It's like, we're like in the jungle here. I can't see shit. Look at that house. Phew. Oh, here we go. This is like the, uh, the little patio area. I'm now covered in ticks. Well, look, let's do this whole area while we're here. Look, should be pretty easy. Just do it a circular pattern. No problem. Look at that. Great turn. I think our work here is done. Nice goal, champ. Oh, and that takes us nicely back to the path. 
for our second go around. We'll work our way up to here. Go around this this area. Perfect. And then what? Then we just go straight straight back this way. I don't know. I think it's the same if we just follow the contours around, right? Or do you think because we have that other space that we could just get out there very quickly? It's probably fine, right? <laughs> Look. Well, I tried a different method and now I've settled back on the one that I prefer the, the most. This method. I actually feel a bit sick doing this. Anybody else finding it like a little bit of motion sickness? I think it's like just because we're going around in such a tight circle. Any barfers out there? Anyone barfing? You love that. Yeah, me too. It's great. And I think we're doing... I think we're acing this, by the way. It's going really good. I'm just going to follow this around now a little. Try to get some of this area done. You always barf watching this. What? Not because of the motion sickness. Because of the jealousy. You see a 26 year old guy who just, you know, the planets and the moon has a line for him. He's got a hot bod. He's handsome. He's a hit with the men and the ladies. And you just think to yourself, curse this world. How has he done it? <clears throat> and then you just do a jealousy barf. I understand. We've all been there before. Humble, yeah. Just a humble motherfucker with a big ass dick. Okay, back over this side. It's a bit like when we were doing power wash, right? We had a system. We had a, a, a system for perfection. This is what we're known for on this channel. Coming up with perfect systems. Efficiency. Top level gaming. Like the way we processed all those bodies in Fallout 4. There's wiki articles about it. It was so efficient. The meat was so good and tender. Now that was a system, I know. The bone zone was the system of all systems. You got PTSD watching Northern Line play power washing sim? Man, I tuned in for a couple of minutes and I can understand uh, how that is the case. He was all over the place. There was, n there was no method to that madness. You know, he'd start spraying the doghouse and then he'd just be like mid-spray like, Oh, there's a shed. Uh, you know what I mean? You can't do that. You gotta finish one thing fully and then move on to the next. You know?
It's no good. Do you ever think that face cam will enlarge the overlay? What? My face cam? You want my face cam to be enlarged? I always thought that it was just fine the way it is. Do you want it bigger? You'll be able to see all my blemishes if I make it bigger. Full screen. Jeez. Better check myself before NL wrecks me in Pokemon Unite. I still haven't played that, actually. I don't know what we're playing tonight. Hopefully we're playing Rocket League. I suggested maybe Back for Blood, but I don't know if uh, Malf and NL are, are big into Left 4 Dead type games. We'd probably need a fourth as well, but maybe like Justin or something? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to invite people to the party. It's not my party, you know? Put myself over the mower like I'm driving. Oh, you mean on the overlay. Oh, it's fine like this. We're good. We're good. When are we getting arsh cam? I don't know what that is. Arse cam? Like my butt. <sighs> Man, I need a bigger cam. I I've packed it on. I've it's been a it's been a rough lockdown for me. I've increased like about twelve dress sizes. I'm not even joking. Like Homer when he had to wear those smocks when he was working from home, remember? Need a bigger butt cam, yeah. I do. His, his moo moos. <laughs> Will I ever play any more games with Chilled Chaos? Yeah, I haven't talked to Chilled for a while though. Um, but yeah, I mean, every once in a while I hear from him. He was playing a lot of WoW for a while, right? I think he still plays a lot of sort of party games too, right? Like Among Us and stuff. I don't know. I haven't played Among Us in a long time. I don't really know who, who even plays it anymore. Is Wolf still doing the um, the EU lobbies or have they fizzled out a little bit now as well? He plays Uno. Nice. Yeah, Chill's really nice. I like hanging out with him. It's good. Wolf is all about GTA 5. Oh, is she doing uh, RP still? I haven't talked to Wolf in a long time. I haven't really talked to anybody in a long time. I sort of just like, with the baby and stuff, I just haven't really had an awful lot of time. Contract complete, baby. We did it again. It's We've done it again, but we will complete the job. I'm, I'm interested to see how many penalties we got this time. All right. Let's go. Reverse into the trailer. That took us 30 minutes. Man, it's going to be like Austin. Oh, shit. It's going to be like Austin Powers in here. Perfect. Look at that. Big penalties. I think that last crash will give us a bit of a penalty, yeah. Look at this. Ah, I love the pens at the end. There goes the perfect, yeah. Need some jazz music? Okay, penalties and fines, £1.29. Not so bad. 75 pence for the big collision. 54 pence for ground damage. And then we had to pay 55 pounds for uh, maintenance, but we have 2,219 now. Newcomer rank four. A new level has been unlocked. We can upgrade um, one vehicle, red wall building. Upgrade red wall building. Are you sure you want to upgrade red wall building? This will take seven days to complete, cost 1,500 pounds and allow for one extra bay. This action cannot be undone. How do I even look at my red wall building? Whitehall house. Oh, we're in red wall building that, and it has one bay. So you could upgrade it to have more bays or we could get Whitehall house, which has three bays. 
but it's gonna cost 160 grand to buy. Unlimited bays for 200 grand. The Moderna estate. You can't actually go out and see your uh, your HQ, unfortunately. Jefferson Garden Gardens and more gardens. Some more complex than than the others. So we could sell this and then buy a new one at the shop. The Stiga Tornado. It has a 108 centimeter deck with a side discharge, rear wheel drive, 15 liter fuel tank capacity, and a top speed of 6.1 miles per hour. It costs 3,499 pounds. We have no base available. Look at this one. Whoa, look at this one. 120 to 152 centimeter deck. Shit. This one costs 38 grand. Maintenance, statistics, sell the vehicle, part exchange the vehicle. That's a nice big deck. Shame about the discharge. <laughs> well, you got a attention, exit career mode. No, I don't want to. No. I was not ready. Um okay, well there you go. I gotta go, chat. It's uh it's around that time. I gotta go help out with uh, the baby. We did uh, we did our sponsored segment on mo lawn mowing sim and it was awesome. What a great game! Uh, it's a it's it's a it's a game uh, much like Power Wash Sim, which was also uh, a good one. We will play this more. We will finish this one like we did Power Wash Sim, and then when we're done, we're gonna go back and check out all the new updates in Power Wash Sim, and then when there's more updates for this, we're gonna check these out as well. I love these dad games, they're the best. They're so good, aren't they? Um, we've also got Zomboid that we're continuing with, which has gone very well. And uh, we'll continue to play. And uh, and then we have another sponsored thing uh, tomorrow. I think the game that we're playing tomorrow is uh, in the, the Tiny Teams uh, thing. Uh, don't quote me on that, I might be wrong about it. But, um, we're doing it tomorrow. We're doing it. Uh-oh. Sipspot's going crazy. <laughs> Oh, because <laughs> go check out lawns because of that. <laughs> uh, Dowie just did a chant that got like everybody banned. <laughs> well done, Dowie. That's great. Oh, God, that is really good. Anyway, listen, if you're not banned, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching the stream. Sorry, it's uh, another short one today. But uh, we did get some Zomboid in, which was good. And uh, we got to play some uh, Lawnmower Sim as well. Uh, thanks to, uh, to Curb for the, uh, for the key and also for the sponsorship as well. It was good. It was, uh, it was very nice. Hashtag ad. Um, and we'll play some more when, uh, when we can. Yeah? Good. Chat, um, thank you so much. Let me just uh, exit out of this game. Exit. Lawn Mowing Simulator. Press any button to play. Exit to desktop. What button is that? There's a button with like three lines on it, but I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Uh, listen, uh, it's Wednesday tomorrow. I will be back. Like I said, we have another sponsored thing tomorrow, but uh, apart from the sponsored thing, I should be able to stream a little bit longer tomorrow. Uh, so we should be able to get some more uh, zo Zomboid in, or maybe we come back to this and do a couple more lawns as well. I mean, the, the the options are endless these days, it, it feels like, you know? Yeah? LOL. Lots of love. Hey, thanks so much for the uh, for the subs and resubs, and thanks so much for the donations as well. I appreciate all of the uh, all of the support as usual. I hope you have a, an enjoyable rest of your Tuesday. Um, I'm hoping to get my car back soon. Uh, today. Maybe tomorrow. Um... And um, I'll, but I'll keep you updated. Like, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be fixed on my car. It turns out, <sighs> brutal. Endless options for renewal. Yeah, um, 20k on car repairs. Not 20k, but you know, but uh, if you've ever taken your car in to be serviced, you're like, my oh, car's fine. They're like, hey, it's gonna cost this much for the service. You're like, 
no problem. And then they, when they phone you up and they start going through an itemized list of all the stuff that's busted on it that they're going to fix for you, it's like, what? Really? Like, it was running fine just this morning when I brought it in. Timing belt, water pump. Oh, man, you name it. There's, like, there's dirt specks on there. There's, like, gashes and slashes. And, oh, man, yeah, I think they... I think what they do is before they take it into the um, into like the whatever the shop, um, they drive it over a cliff first and then tow it back to the shop and then they do the service and they're like, "Holy crap! What did you do to this car? F- fuck you! It was fine when I brought it in, <laughs> you know? Jeez, it makes sense to you? Yeah. Well, man, I guess it makes sense. If I ran a garage, I would do the same kind of scams." as well but uh it doesn't feel good to be scammed by the garage you know anyway um if you guys have any tips please hit me up on uh, twitter i've been playing a mobile game have called a nice evening sips agricola school. sorry for banning half your audience easy come easy go i guess yep yeah it's the way of the road dowie i mean don't worry about it thanks so much for the bits i appreciate it agricola have you ever played that agricola before um it's like a like a resource placement game you know like you have to like build the farm and stuff yeah i don't know fucking how to like i tried to do a solo series it's like you got to get 50 points i get like minus 20 points every game like i just do not know what to do i don't know how to grow my family like i don't know what resources i need to like build houses and stuff it's cool i want to get better at it but you know it's a it's a nice uh it's a nice game to have to play in the back you know background while i've got a baby sleeping on me and stuff Uh, i'll figure it out anyway uh listen have a good one um let's see is anybody playing this game is it actually out yet is this game actually out or is uh is it still uh, a couple hours to go um 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 let's see lawn mowing lawn mower sim was i the only person playing it let's see lawn lawn mowing simulator no, no. There's some other people playing it right now as well. Okay. Um, I'll send you over to uh, somebody else who's playing this. Okay. Here you go. Uh, the, the, the streaming geek. He's also mowing lawns. Okay. There you go. LOL chat. Lots of love. Uh, have a good one. And uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, for some more streams, okay? I'll see you then. All right. Peace chat. Bye. LOL, bye.